Tigre is a city located nearby Buenos Aires, the capital city of Argentina. It's famous for being located by a beautiful delta and it's also the perfect place where to do a day trip to. Hello everyone, my name is Janika. I am currently backpacking in South America together with my boyfriend Ruo. And at the moment we are in Buenos Aires, but today we are not gonna stay in Buenos Aires. Instead, we are heading north and we are going to this small town called Tigre that is relatively close to Buenos Aires and it's supposed to be very, very beautiful. So yeah, I'm excited to explore a new town today. There are several different ways on how you can get to Tigre. And today we've chosen to do the most cheap option that there is, which is by taking the local train. Currently we are at the Retiro train station, which is from where the train leaves. And we need to take the train from the Mitra line. And as you can see, the next train to Tigre should be going at 11.53. So in a bit less than 10 minutes from platform number four. So. Let's get going. We are now on the train and the train trip is supposed to take between 14 minutes to an hour and hopefully we'll get to see some nice views on the way. And it's easy because the station where we're getting off at is the last station. So we have arrived in Tigre. It was really, really cheap. We paid 52 pesos per person. So almost nothing, basically. Time is now 12.51. So the train ride did take pretty much one hour. It's weird to see like a Christmas tree and a palm tree right next to each other, right? <laughs> The main thing to do here is to do a boat tour around the waterways. We haven't booked anything in advance, but according to Google, you don't need to. We're just gonna walk around a bit and see what the different options are and where we could get the best price as well. There seems to be like two main options of what kind of boat tour you can do. You can either take a bigger boat, like that one in the background, like a catamaran, or you could take like an old traditional boat. We decided to do the more traditional boat, so I hope that one will be good. It costed us 4,500 pesos per person with the current exchange rate with the blue dollar. For us personally, it costed us around four euros and 50 cents. You need to check when you are here what the exchange rate will be because it fluctuates very, very much. But yeah, less than five euros per person and the tour takes one hour and 15 minutes. We decided now that instead of walking around, we'll sit down by this little cafe for a while before our boat goes, and then we'll do like a proper exploration by foot of Tigre after our boat tour. Ruel is getting a coffee and some pastry, and I'm also having some pastry. So um, Ruel tried ordering in Spanish, and he somehow managed to order himself two coffees <laughs> instead of one. And also it was supposed to order one croissant he got two of them too and this pastry <laughs> that's what can sometimes happen when uh, there's a bit of a language barrier still This area was originally first settled by the Europeans and you can see beautiful colonial styled houses along the boat tour. There's a labyrinth of waterways here creating hundreds of small remote islands that are only accessible by boat. If you wish to stay overnight here, that's also possible, as there are several hotels located by the Delta waterways as well. There 
there is also an amusement park in Tigre, but if you do want to visit it, make sure to come to Tigre during a weekend. We are now done with the boat tour and it was definitely very very nice. I recommend doing it if you come here because you do want to see the waterways and the delta and you see all these cool old colonial style buildings and stuff. If you do the boat tour definitely definitely buy the ticket here because what I checked online if you would book the tour online it costed like 30 plus euros and now we pay less than five euros. Tour providers online tend to take a pretty big commission for themselves so yeah you'll definitely save a lot of money by buying your ticket here and it's it's the same tour that you're paying for anyway now we're gonna explore Tigre by foot a little bit and hopefully we could also find some nice lunch spots I hope you guys can hear me it's a little bit windy but we are now by this lovely promenade by the water and it's very, very beautiful here. We found a very nice spot where to have some lunch. We are right by the water. Unfortunately, the weather has turned a bit gray. It was sunny earlier, so let's hope the sun would come back. But yeah, we are right by the water and we just ordered and yeah, let's hope the food is good. Our food has arrived. I ordered myself spaghetti with a creamy mushroom sauce. Nothing super special, but I love mushrooms to be honest and I love pasta. So I don't mind. Let's try. Oh, and there's cheese. The lunch we just had was okay. It wasn't the best food we've had in Argentina so far. At least I'm feeling full. And yeah, now we're still gonna explore Tigre a bit by foot and see what we can find. Currently, we're crossing some kind of bridge and we're walking here by the water. I know there's at least a museum over there. I'm not sure if it's open, but the building itself looks very cool. So I wanna go and have a look at that. I do recommend if coming to Tigre that you should choose a day when it's sunny and nice. It was sunny and nice when we arrived and even according to the weather app, if you look at it right now, it says the sun is shining, but in reality it is actually raining, which is a bit of a pity because I can just imagine this promenade on a sunny day, everyone's sitting outside and enjoying the weather and yeah, it's probably a bit of a different kind of atmosphere now it's a bit half empty and stuff uh, maybe also because it is a Monday but then again I've heard that in the weekends it gets maybe even too busy especially in the spring and summertime so uh, yeah try and check what the weather is like but then at the same time maybe even if you do check out the weather app maybe you'll be unlucky like we are and end up having rain even if it's not supposed to rain but um, yeah at least I would suggest trying to choose a day when the weather is good. It's still nice of course, but I can imagine if the sun would be shining, it would be even nicer. We've now come to this place here that's like a market slash outside shopping mall. Unfortunately, it seems a bit quiet at the moment. I think it's about to close soon and maybe also because it's a Monday, but it does seem like a nice place where you could do some souvenir shopping and stuff. I know it's a bit random, but we were both really craving McDonald's ice cream. So we got McDonald's ice cream because they have it here. 
and we both got Kit Kat McFlurries. I've never had a Kit Kat flavored McFlurry before, but Kit Kat's one of my favorite chocolates, so sounds good. I do find it funny how this place is called Tigre, which I presume means tiger in Spanish, but everywhere they have the photo of a leopard. <laughs> you would think a city or, well, town called Tiger would know what a tiger looks like, but I guess not. That over there at least is a tiger. Well, we are now back on the train and it's time to go back to Buenos Aires but it's definitely been a fun little day trip and I do recommend visiting Tigre if you are in Buenos Aires. I have heard in the weekends it gets super super busy but then again now when we went on a Monday it felt maybe even too calm like I wouldn't have minded a bit more people and a bit more life maybe. I don't know if weekday or weekend is better. You choose, do you rather come on a very calm day or on a day when it's very busy? Which do you prefer? But I'm gonna end this video here. I hope you have enjoyed it and found it useful. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. And if you want to join the journey on our backpacking adventure here in South America, then remember to also subscribe to this channel. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you again on my next adventure. Bye bye!